the positional group with the highest floor. This is an interesting one, Carl. And I'm going to take this one first. I know that uh, this one might get some pushback, but we don't know about Justin Simmons yet. We don't know about Shelby Harris. We don't know about Don Miller. I feel pretty good about the floor of the off-ball linebackers, right? Now, this that, isn't, this isn't one group. that moves the needle at all. I mean, but I know Mike Clay had them as like the off-ball linebackers as like the the third best in the NFL, which I don't get. I understand there's going to be some guys at free agent, but uh, that I think the off-ball linebackers, it's not just you know you have Josie Jewell and Alexander Johnson coming back, but you also are getting back Justin Stranod. I think that room, that room has a high floor. Now, granted, they probably should still address it to add some more athleticism to the position, but I mean, I just feel really comfortable. The Broncos didn't address off-ball linebacker at all this offseason. They're right where they were this year, and they were still one of the best. They're actually one of the best teams in the NFL at uh, covering tight ends. I mean, no, everybody's like, oh, a tight end, rah, we can't cover them. But the Broncos actually were one of the better ones, especially in the red yeah. zone. So, um, well, and that's so, that's saying something with Kelsey and Waller in the division. And, and can we talk about that a little bit? Of I know everybody's gone crazy about the whole Super Bowl and – Everybody going, look what the, their linebackers were able to do against Kelsey. He still had over 100 yards. Like, yes, they kept him pretty well contained considering. Yeah. But that's just how good he is. Like, you could have the best linebackers in the NFL, and still Kelsey's going to find ways to beat you. Darren Waller is going to find ways to beat you. The, there's just some guys that are just – they're freaks. There's and, not a Kelsey Waller individual stopper in the NFL. There, there right. was one when you had Luke Keekley out there, but I think it's just disingenuous to say, like, the Broncos have to use a first-round pick on a linebacker. Micah Parsons, of all people, first of all, that's not his game. He can be a cover guy, but that's not his game right now, at least. Right. That kind of, oh, they have to draft the draft linebacker in the first round, otherwise they're going to continue to get killed by Waller and Kelsey. Guys, every team's going to continue to get killed by K- Waller and Kelsey. It's going to take more of a collective on the back seven rather yeah. than a single individual off-ball linebacker. Now, I will right. say, though, one thing that the Super Bowl, and I definitely thought this was the case as well, but one thing that uh, I thought the linebacker athleticism brought in the Super Bowl that the Broncos do not have. I mean, say what you will, Josie Jewel, Alexander Johnson, high floor, not really athletic needle movers. The ability to close down space in the flats in the quick pass game with David and uh, Devin, Devin White chasing those guys down monumental, something the Broncos yeah. could not even dream of doing right now with what they have. And that's that's probably the biggest reason I'm looking for that kind of guy, just because there's so many quick pass teams. First thing is limiting the big passes down the field. Broncos have been yeah. doing that pretty well against the Chiefs. I mean, teams were copying the Broncos' defensive scheme against the Chiefs um, and also with the, uh, the Rams, which is also the Broncos' defensive scheme. Vic Fangio, Brandon Saley, blah, blah, blah. We don't have to go down that. Um, but that's that's what the, the Rams did against Russell Wilson, and he looked really uh, – vulnerable as well. And then also, um, gosh, against the, the Packers, they really kept it a close game. So, uh, you know, it's blueprints out there, but you know, you don't yeah. have to invest heavily in the linebacker. And that's something too. I it's, it's already gone on a tangent here, Carl, but I keep pe- seeing people say, Oh, dream, uh, Jeremiah Wusa Koromoa would fix the Broncos linebacker position. He's not an off ball linebacker for this, this scheme. I'm sorry. He's just not, he's yeah. much more like Will Parks. He's an overhang safety slash, um, slot defender, which there's value. And if the Broncos wanted to go to a four, two, five base uh, with more uh, that kind of linebacker safety hybrid playing over the slot, by all means, I, I can buy it. But for what Vic Angel has done historically, that's just, he doesn't use that kind of guy. Yeah. Sorry. And, and I saw, J-O-K. yeah. And, and we've had a few names from the draft thrown out here. Uh, I saw, I think Boggins had uh, Jabril Cox come home. Yes. Good, good, good pick. I, I would yep. really like Jabril Cox. I think if you want him, he you have to take him with that second round pick. He might not yep. even be there there, but uh, you have to take him with the second round pick. I also really like uh, Jamin Davis from uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. He's somebody who's starting to get some hype. I mean, I just if you're a height, weight, speed guy moving around a linebacker, you have my attention. 